Hello everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, Restore Glory. This is my YouTube channel as well as my uh, Etsy store, Restore Glory. So thank you so much for stopping by. I so very much appreciate it. Um, just hang out with me for a couple of, for an hour. I'm going to try to keep this under an hour, but I do believe that this may be uh, uh, one of two part video because I have so much stuff to show you. It's a combination of me going to... Um, my local thrift stores over a period of a week. I think I went one week and then I went back the next week and I knew I was going to do a haul. So I decided just to kind of sort of combine it. Um, and if I can remember where I picked it up, some of the prices I even still have on some of these items, but if I can remember where I got it from, I'll certainly do mention it. But again, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm going to get right into it. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first item I'm going to show you are these beautiful, beautiful acrylic salt and pepper uh, mills, right? These are absolutely beautiful. I paid $1.99 for them, as you can see. And they are noted on the bottom as Old Thompson. Can you guys see that? Old Thompson. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they're Old Thompson. And these babies go for really, uh, they go for decent money. So again, only pay $1.99. These are in excellent condition. I don't even see any residue of any salt or pepper. I don't know if these things were ever used, but I totally dig them because they are acrylic and they are in great shape. There's no, no scrapes or cracks or anything that I can tell. And I think I will do well with those for $1.99 for these beautiful Old Thompson acrylic salt and pepper shaker mills or whatever you call them. All right, that's that. The next item I got to show you because it just was hanging out all by itself. And I only paid $1.99, as you can see. Whoops, there we go. And, of course, the Easter season is coming right up. And look at this perfectly beautiful woman. She just reminds me of my grandmother. I ain't kidding. This woman was always busy and always had her, you know, her look on her face like she was all about her business. But I thought this tin was completely adorable for Easter. And I only paid a dollar ninety nine for it, so I thought it was completely sweet, isn't it sweet? So um, there's a little scratch like right there, but it should be fine. I'm pretty sure. I just totally love it. I'm gonna get this listed for the Easter spring holiday uh, um, season coming up. So I just thought this was completely, completely cool. There's no maker's mark on it at all. Normally, you know, like like the makers uh it's embossed but there's nothing on it that i could tell and i thoroughly looked at it and i didn't see where this was uh, uh who made this but i just thought it was a completely beautiful cute home decor uh for the spring and easter season right just adorable isn't that cute don't you just love her don't you just doesn't she just look like she's just full of wisdom <laughs> i totally love her all right, the next item I'm going to show you is, of course, my all-time favorite. And I'm so convinced that I'm going to meet her one day, Re Drummond, the Pioneer Woman. I totally love her. I found these beautiful um, Pioneer Woman. These are coasters. They're cork back coasters. And they are in excellent condition. I paid, uh, I think I paid $2.99 in the bag. So here's a red one, which I totally love. Here's a yellow one. Beautiful. Here's a kind of green one. And then finally, uh, a blue one. Yep, these are Pioneer Woman. Here's the back. But uh, I think I paid $2.99 for a set of four of those. And I think I remember that they go for about between $15 and $18, as high as $20, I think, for these. So anyway, I totally love those. All right, I'm reaching. I'm going to have to bend down and reach, guys. The next item completely, completely surprised me. I took the tag off, but I believe I paid $4.99 for these. These are Lily Pulitzer. I love Lily Pulitzer. Love, love, love everything about Lily Pulitzer. These are um, uh, can candle votives, and these are absolutely beautiful. I just love these pink and gold and kind of fuchsia colors. Just beautiful. I believe it's the Palm Beach pattern. I don't know if you guys can see that. But these surprise me. These these go for really good money. I actually think I saw them on eBay and um they really they go for about between $25 and I want to say $30. I'm gonna double check that, but these are stunningly beautiful. They're new in package, they've never been used. 
And I think I'll do pretty well for this. I think I paid, my goodness, I think I paid either $3.99 or $4.99 for this set of three. So I'm pretty sure I'll do fine. Lily, Lily Pulitzer definitely does fine. I know that she's in Target, but people love, 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 love Lily Pulitzer. And I totally love this, this color scheme. So I may have to put on pause because my son is coming over to pick up a, a king cake. We celebrate um, Mardi Gras here in this home because we're we're from New Orleans. And I made a king cake this week. I think my son is coming over to pick up a king cake. So if he comes over, I may have to put a pause on this video. All right. The next item I'm going to show you is lovely, lovely Jim Shore. This was ninety nine. This was nine ninety nine. But guess what? It was half off. Which no, no, it was thirty three percent off. I take that back. It was thirty three percent off nine ninety nine. And this one in particular is called. Hold on one second. Uh, Messenger of Peace. Uh, Messenger of Peace. Two thousand and fifteen. Messenger of Peace. Let me show you so you guys can be on the lookout for that. It was nine nine ninety nine, but it was thirty three percent off at my local thrift store. And um, when I looked this up, these sell really well, probably in the thirty to thirty five dollar range. This is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. I absolutely love this um, peace on earth angel, and her wings are on tack. You know, sometimes are, are intact. Sometimes with Jim Shore, you really have to uh, um, carefully look at them just to make sure there aren't any chips or, or cracks or broken broken wings. But this angel looks to be like she is in good condition. I'm so happy. But I just love the sparkle of her dress and the, the wave of her dress. And she is in great condition. So I'm pretty sure I would do well on this Jim Shore messenger of peace. Isn't she adorable? I just love her wings. I love Jim Shore anyway. I've sold a ton of Jim Shore items, and this one is no exception, but I'm pretty sure she would do well. Um, when I did, actually, this was on, if I remember correctly, I think I saw this on Worth Point, and maybe it was another site now that I'm thinking about it. It was high. It was like in the $55 range. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that much for it, but... Um, but I'm pretty sure this one will absolutely, absolutely do well because it's in great condition. No chips, no cracks or anything that I could tell. And she seems to be in great condition. And of course, she's just beautiful. Just love her. Love, love, love her. Love her. All right. The next item I'm going to show you completely, completely surprised me. And I paid, as you can see, $6.99. I'm going to show you the back of them so you guys can see what I see. It's called Superior Limoges France Bourbon. So do you guys see that? Let me just show you how beautiful these plates are. Aren't they stunningly beautiful? Stunningly beautiful. Now, so when I, I, I have a set of two, four, six, eight, I have 10, 10 of these little small saucers. So when I look these up, they were on Worth Point and they're noted as antique, like 1920s antique. And so I am really hoping that this pattern is what I think it is because this pattern, this bourbon pattern goes for really good money. And so, um, and of course it's marked Limoges France. Can you guys see that? Yep. And so I think I did pretty good. Again, I paid $6.99 for this entire set of 10. And uh, did I count that right? Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Yep, a set of 10 of these little gold rim saucers. And there's very little, uh, not even barely, uh, they're in good condition. I was going to say utensil marks, but I looked at all of them and they look to be in good shape. So I think these will do really well. I want to say that when I, when I came home and I looked these up um, initially, that they were listed on eBay, a cup and saucer set, I think it was a set of four, was listed for over $110. So we shall see. I'm going to do a little bit more research. Of course, you know that I am. I'll do a little bit more research and see if I have this correctly. But I do believe that this Limoges France bourbon pattern, these saucers would do absolutely well. These gold rim saucers. They're probably about maybe six inches wide. But I think these will absolutely do well. <clears throat> the next item I'm going to show you is I have a set of four. I'm not going to pull up all of them. But these are some German... Uh, I'm going to call them um, aperitif glasses. 
These were 99 cents a piece at my Goodwill. And at first I wasn't going to pick them up because I don't even know why, because I thought they were, um, I thought that somebody embellished these. But the deal is, is that these are actually, uh, hold on a second, let me show you the label, made in Germany. As you guys can see that, made in Germany. And these are, these do really well. And these are considered Swarovski, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, embellished. And I have a set of four. And I don't like it when they put tape on it because sometimes that tape will peel off the gold foil. And I tried to carefully do that because they put uh, tape on these, which is completely crazy. I wish I could just have a one-on-one -on -one session with the people who process the items. I know they're trying to process 100 items. And, you know, for them, it's just a matter of just getting the price on. I totally get it. But um, but it will damage them, you know. But these are these are going to do well. But they're made in Germany. I want to call them like little aperitif cocktail type of glasses. And I have a set of four. And I paid 99 cents a piece for each one of them. And I thought these were stunningly, stunningly beautiful. And I don't know if those are real Swarovski crystals, but we shall see. But look these up and see what you guys, uh, if you guys know different or can tell me different, please do let me know. I thought they were beautiful. All right, so the next item I'm going to show you, I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents. And at first, I wasn't going to pick it up. I I, I saw it. And I'm like, Donna, no, don't worry about it. Just whatever. But I picked it up. I said, I, I just go ahead and pick it up because I've been doing well with um, Enid Collins, and that's what it kind of sort of reminded me of. So it's this uh, this wooden box purse, and it says Anton P I E C K Anton Peak. Or Pike. Can you guys see that? Here's the bottom. I paid $3.99. Let me just show you the middle. Let me just show you the front of it so you guys can see that. Very kind of sort of vintage looking. Here's the here's the inside. Right? And the good news, and here's the handle. Can you guys see that? Here's the back. Let me just pull this back a little bit so you guys can see. Hello, ring light. But yeah, these babies do well for $3.99. This Andrew Pike, it says that it's 1966 D period, A period, C period, New York. I'm going to pull this up to the camera, but you guys may not be able to see that. But it definitely is noted as 1966 D A C New York. Anton P I E C K. Right? And these do really well. I thought it was cute. It kind of, when I picked it up, it kind of sort of reminded me of just anything that was beautiful that, uh, um, not necessarily Enoch Collins, but it had that kind of sort of Enoch Collins vibe. But I totally, totally thought this was an amazing find, and I think I will do well with this one for sure. So we'll go ahead and get that one listed as well. All right, these next two items, I just fell in love with them like immediately. Although I'm not a cat person, and I know that there's plenty of people who are cat people. My household, we are, excuse me, we are dog lovers. We love dogs. That looks like my son coming up. Um, it may be my son, so I may have to put a pause here. But um, we love all types of animals. I think I told you guys that my daughter is going to the University of Maryland, and she is in, she's studying animal science. So she's going to be a vet somewhere, but she loves animals. But I got to show you these these beautiful, beautiful Siamese cats. The uh, tag on the bottom says, hold on one second, I'm going to show you one of them. It says, made in Japan. Do you guys see that? And they are adorable. Like completely, completely adorable. In great condition. I'm going to call them mid-century modern Siamese cats. Here's the other one. Look at that face. Hello. Hello, it's so cute, so cute. So yeah, I think I'll do well. I think I paid, I paid up for these. One was $3.99 and the other one was $5.99. But I'm pretty sure I'll do fine with these for sure. But they are so adorably, adorably cute. Just, I just love them. Just love, 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 love them. All right, the next item I'm going to show you is another pioneer woman and i paid 99 cents for these two bowls uh pioneer woman 
these beautiful bows, as you can see, 99 cents in excellent condition. Um, there's a little, I don't know if that's a, a little teeny weeny little chip right there, but it should do fine. Um, these beautiful Pioneer Woman bowls. I have a set of two and again for 99 cents. Totally love those. I think my son is coming. Oh, that's not him. Okay, good. The next item I'm going to show you is, oh my God, just stunningly beautiful. I'm going to show you the label. It says, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. You may not be able to, but it says Mikasa Slovenia. You guys see that? But look how beautiful this bowl is. It's super duper heavy. I can barely even hold it up. And I paid $6.99, I think. Yep, $6.99 for this. But isn't this gorgeous? Like, seriously, look at that. That is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I love, 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 love. Even if this one doesn't sell, I'm so going to keep this. I just think this is stunningly beautiful. I love the birds. And I just thought this was so beautiful. Just beautiful. I love it. All right. That's that. The next item, I believe these are, I think, I think they're Anchor Hawking. Please don't quote me on that. But these, these ruby red. Um, here is a uh, creamer. Here's the bottom. How much did I pay for these babies? I think I paid $4.99 for the set. This ruby red creamer. Here's the bottom. And here's the sugar bowl. Beautiful. For $4.99. I love it. So that's that. The next item I'm going to show you is that I have, I've had this in my selection. I just wanted to show it to you just because it was on the side and I was going to take it to my uh, shed so I can process it. But I paid $3.99 for it. And it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a, I believe it's a napkin holder. And I'm sure you guys have seen these before. But this thing is in pristine condition. Like no chips, no cracks, no paint loss. It's almost like it's brand new. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful. Totally love this. Totally love it. Just in excellent, excellent condition. No chips, no cracks, nothing. Just totally love that. I absolutely, absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. Alrighty, that's that. The next item I'm going to show you is stunningly beautiful as well. Where's my time? Okay, we're good. It's a... Um, I cannot make out that mark on the bottom. I have tried. I tried to blow it up. I tried to take a picture of it and, and swell it up so I can tell, but I cannot. So it's this beautiful, what do they call this? It's not iridescent. Oh my goodness, I, it's escaping me. Guys, help me out. It's not iridescent. It's called, I forgot. Anyway, for, once I do the video, I'll try to put the name up here so I can remember. But look how beautiful. It's like almost like a, either a celery dish or um, I'm going to put, I'm going to say some type of celery dish or asparagus dish or something, but it's just so stunningly beautiful. Look at that. And I paid three, I know I paid $3.99 for this, but it has this kind of sort of Moriagi kind of a dot, 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 and it's gold and it's beautiful. Um, what do they call this? It's driving me crazy. It's not pearlescence, but anyway, it's beautiful. No chips, no cracks or anything on this baby. And then it came with these three little mini dishes. Here's the mark on the bottom. I cannot make that mark out at all. But it came with these little mini, little mini, I don't know. I have no idea, excuse me, for that noise. Just beautiful. I don't know. I'm going to have to remember to put that down. The next item I'm going to show you is a Pyrex. They call this something, and I completely forgot. I looked it up, but it's a Pyrex coffee pot. 
and it says Pyrex on here. There we go, Pyrex. Oh, there it is. It's um, glassware, something, something, something. You guys are not going to be able to see that, but it's right there. See that? A little dusty. Got cleaned up a little bit, but it definitely looks kind of sort of mid-century modern. Kind of cool, right? I'm not sure if this cork thing goes with it or not. <laughs> it was there, but when I looked this up, I don't remember seeing this cork in it. It may very well be the original cork lid, but I'm not really sure. I just thought it was completely, completely cool and completely mid-century modern looking with the starburst in great condition. But, uh, and I don't remember, I think I paid $3.99 for this. But it seems to be in excellent, good condition. That's that. The next item, I have a set of four, and I paid, one second, guys. I think I paid, bear with me. Put that right there. $4.99. There we go. $4.99 for a set of four. And these babies are heavy. So I'm going to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but I believe it's Boleswiek. Boleslawik. Handmade in Poland. Boleslawik. I'm going to stop butchering that right now. But anyway, this particular pattern, when I look this particular pattern, when I look this particular Boleslawik handmade in Poland plate up, this particular pattern does really well. And again, I think I paid... How much did I pay? Okay, oh, guys. Ooh, four ninety nine for a set of four of these. Four ninety nine for a set of four, and I think these went for about twenty nine dollars for a set of four. So I think I'll do well with these. I'm pretty sure I'll do well with these for sure. And they're heavy. They're definitely quality made. No chips. No cracks. No utensil marks or anything. I thought these were stunningly, stunningly beautiful, right? All right, so the next item I'm going to show you, <laughs> I have to blame my wonderful reseller friend, and she knows who she is. <laughs> she found an amazing, amazing set of dishes recently. I mean, just stunningly beautiful set of dishes, and I think she paid like $29.99 for them. I don't know if I told you guys this, but she, she's probably going to make over $300 over $350 on this entire set of these uh, Noritake. I think they were Noritake uh, silver rimmed d uh, dinnerware. Just beautiful. So I'm going to blame you. You know who you are. I'm going to blame you. You made me go to the thrift store the next day and look for plates. And I ended up getting a set of plates that I was so anxious to get a set. I found this beautiful set, but in my haste to get them, um, I didn't notice until I got home that a lot of the dishes and a lot of the bowls had lots of chips and nicks, and it was no way that I could even salvage any of them. So I ended up putting them in my pile because I went, I'm, I'm going to end up redonating them back. But anyway, there we go. That's what happens in this business that we're in. But I did find some Pier 1. Let me just show you these. Some Pier 1. They call these Winter Wonder these dinner plates and these are absolutely beautiful but the the bad news is that I got an entire set I want to say probably about a good 20 pieces but the only thing that I can salvage is four plates because again all of the plates all of the salad plates all the bowls the mugs had chips I was so mad but the good thing is that I paid not that it's a good thing but I paid I want to say it was $22 for all of those. And even though I was not only able to, I was only able to salvage these four plates, this Pier 1 Winter Wonder pattern does really, really well. And I think for the set of four plates that I do have that are in great condition, I am pretty sure I'll be able to do well with these. I want to say probably about $30 for a set of four. So these are in great, great, great condition. I totally love the holly pattern and the and the berries. So I'm pretty sure I'll do well with these. So that was kind of a bummer because I had I had cups, I had bowls, I had salad bowls. 
But when I looked at them further, they again were all chipped and chipped and not good. So anyway, my reseller friend, you scored my friend because the ones that I got recently were not good at all. All right, so that's that, that's that. All right, hold on one second, guys. I think that's that. All right, so the next item I'm gonna show you, it's so cool. It is, I think it's amazingly cool. It was $3.99, and I think it is a handmade, <laughs> handmade lampshade that's made out of, um, what do you call these things? Popsicle sticks. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. But here's the inside of it. I'm 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 hundred percent sure this baby is probably handmade. It's a little loose here, as you can see. I have to kind of maybe glue that baby down a little bit so it doesn't fall off. But here's the inside. But I just thought it was so kind of kind of cool. Right? For $3.99? <gasps> oh my god. A popsicle fell off. Whoops, I gotta fix it. I shall fix it. But anyway, I think it's a, I think it's completely cool. I could not leave it behind. Someone absolutely probably did make this baby. And I'll just have to figure out how I can make sure that it is glued down and intact. But for $3.99, I absolutely could not leave it in the store. I just thought this was so amazing for $3.99, right? All right, that's that. All right. The next item I'm going to show you is something that I got from the Goodwill. And I paid $8.99, as you can see, but I'm going to save it for uh, closer to uh, Halloween because it's this groovy, this groovy 1960s plus-size costume. I hope you guys can see my friend there. It comes with the vest, the dress, and these little uh, groovy fringed uh, leggings type, <laughs> type stuff. But I just thought it was so cool. And it's um it's it's all the pieces are there, the headband, her dress, her vest. Well the vest is attached to the dress, and then these leggings. And so uh it was $8.99, but I'm pretty sure I could probably get about a good thirty dollars for this, probably around the hollow Halloween season. And on and on top of the fact that it is plus size. So I'm pretty sure I'll do well with that one. By uh it is Easter Unlimited is the manufacturer. So that's that. The next thing I want to show you is something that's completely, it was an impulse because it was left in somebody's cart and I had, I had purchased all of my items and I saw that it was to the side. I said, wait, hey, what's that? And, uh, and uh, the lady told me that somebody decided that they weren't going to get it. So of course, you know, I picked it up. It's just, it's not even a rubber ducky. It's actually pl plastic. And when I first tried to look it up, as you can see, it says sugar factory. I thought it was a sugar factory duck, but apparently these ducks are pretty much common and that um, uh, there's a company that will brand this. And so I think the sugar factory just branded this particular duck, but I couldn't leave it behind because it was only $2.99. And I'm pretty sure that somebody that loves rubber duckies is going to love this cute little rubber ducky, even with the sugar, the sugar factory logo on it. Because how could you, how could you not? How could you leave him behind? And that looks like my son. All right, so I'm going to put a pause here and then I'll come right back. Okay, everybody, so sorry about that. My son did come by. He picked up his king cake um, because, again, we are uh, Mardi Gras people and we celebrate Mardi Gras. And so I made a king cake. So he came by to pick up his slice from work. He had to work today. I love my son. Anyway, so the next item I'm going to show you guys is a vintage Neiman Marcus. It's called a cookie jar. And this is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And let me just show you the inside. Hold on one second. It's in great condition. And it's called a cookie jar. And I paid $7.99 for this. I did pay up for it. But these were listed for about 50 bucks. And of course, who doesn't love butterflies? And in this black and white pattern, it's very popular. But I absolutely, absolutely love this. Here's the bottom again. Neiman Marcus, the tag I didn't take off quite well. But I thought this was completely cool. And it's heavy. This baby is heavy. So I thought that was pretty cool. The next item I'm going to show you is a Walt Disney 
authentic original Disney Parks mug. And it says Disney Animal Kingdom. And I thought this was completely cool. It was only 99 cents, so I could not leave it. I love, love, love this very uh, beautiful colors of oranges and blacks and, you know, just beautiful. And it was only 99 cents. And I think I looked this up very quickly. And I think I saw one that sold, I want to say probably back in early February, uh, for about $17. And it's in excellent condition. So we'll see what we do with that one. Uh, let's see. So that's that. The next item, I got to show you these things individually, guys. Let me just pull these out. Hold on one sec. I'm not sure exactly what they are. So if you guys know anything about these, please leave me a comment. Because I tried to search these and I am not able to find anything on them. So let me just show you a couple of them. There are these bendable... Uh, figurines and they're made out of this I, I think that they're vintage but it's this beautiful little cute little uh bendable figurines and this is made out of felt right so here's one they all came in a bag by the way you know the bags you get I want to say I paid maybe $3.99 for the bag here's another one do you guys recognize this? I have no idea, but to me, they look they look vintage to me, just by the fabric. There's no marks or anything that I can find, but they all are bendable. Little cat. Hold on for a second. And then it's this little baby one. If you guys know anything about this, please do let me know so that I can research them and list them accordingly. So that's that one. And then here's another one. They all are bendable. Here's another one. This is a, um, I want to say that, hold on a second. These two, yeah. I don't know why I'm thinking that these two go together because they're bears. Like a, a lady bear and a, a mama bear and a papa bear right but just if you just look at the clothing just look at that to me it looks completely vintage and i don't know who made them if they're vintage i have no idea so that's that and then in that same bag was a bunch of little finger puppets so here's <laughs> let me see if i can put it on a little, uh, what is that? Dragon. Hello. Move your eyes, honey. Little dragon. Fire coming out of his mouth. This one is a, a cute little butterfly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna model these things for you guys. Little butterfly. Yeah, hello. This one is a little, a little puppy. A little puppy. He's cute. <laughs> I would have so much fun with this with my niece when she comes over. She would totally love those. And then in that same bag, it had, oh my goodness, these two little, two little figurines. Is that a beaver? That's a beaver, right? That's a beaver. And this little, small little beaver. So that all was in the bag. I'm pretty sure that the ones that I showed you, these things right here, I'm pretty sure these, they they look like they're antique to me. Not antique, but vintage at least. So if you guys know anything about these bendable characters, please do let me know. And I'm happy to, I mean, I'd appreciate anything that you guys can lend me in terms of what these things might possibly be. All right. So I think that is it. I'm going to put a pause here. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to do a, I'm going to stop the video now. And then what I'm going to do is pull the other items from the store that I got from before. And then we'll go from there. So hold on. Hi everybody. This is Don. I'm back. So thank you so much for your uh, patience. Uh, I actually, um, this is, Part two, again, or this is another part. I'm not even sure exactly what part I'm up to. But this is a continuation of my haul. 
And it's getting late in the evening, and I seem to be losing my voice. So anyway, anyway let me just get to it. The next item I'm going to show you is a set of candles. I don't know that they're going to uh, be worth a lot. I think I paid $1.99 for these. They're called um, Safed Candles, and I believe they are for, uh, they are made in Israel. <clears throat> I just love them because of the color. I love the blues and the purples. And uh, I just thought they were so pretty. They're hand dipped. And I just thought they were so pretty. But they it says that they are made in Israel. And I thought they were so cute. I don't know that I'm going to make a ton of money on these. But I just thought they were pretty. And if not, I'll just keep them for myself. No worries at all. The next item I'm going to show you is a Deruta little mini um, vase. I paid one ninety nine. Let me just take that. Well, I'll just leave it on for right now. But let me just show you the bottom. It does say Deruta, and it says uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, "Made in Germany." You guys see that? And I just thought it was just really beautiful, hand painted and just beautiful. I know Deruta does well. I think I have sold some Deruta candlesticks a while ago. But I just thought this pattern was so pretty. It's not that big, probably about five or six inches tall. But I just thought it was a little cute little mini uh, vase, Deruta vase. All right, the next item I'm going to show you, I believe this is Jadeite. I paid up for this. As you can see, I paid $19.99. But I could not leave it because I believe it is Jadeite. And then um, what I ended up doing, I put this video on pause. And I saw something similar to this pattern, this kind of diamond point pattern. Here's the bottom and this scrolly. And um, this was listed for about 50 bucks, this jadeite pedestal dish. Now, yes, I paid up for it. I paid $19.99, as you can see. But I thought it was awesome, completely, completely beautiful. If you guys know this pattern, please let me know. Enlighten me. Um, I thought that jadeite glowed, but this doesn't glow. I put my green light on it and I'm on my uh, my light on it, and it doesn't glow. Maybe not all jadeite glows. Probably not. But in any event, I um I thought this was just beautiful, and I couldn't leave it in the store because I kind of sort of thought it was something. And I think if it's what I think it is, then it should do fine. There are um, I think that's a manufacturer or what do you want to call it? Like something in the process. It doesn't look like a chip to me. Um, and there is a scratch. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see that it's right there. There is a scratch right there, but I think overall it's in great, great condition. I'm not sure. It's almost like I feel like something goes on the top of it, but for you jadeite collectors, if you guys know if this is authentic jadeite, please do let me know. And I can list it and know about it because I always like to learn myself about patterns and about jadeite. I just love the name jadeite. Um, so if you guys know, please do enlighten me because I want to learn. So I got that. Although I did pay up for it, I kind of sort of thought it was something. So I could not leave it. The next item I'm going to... Next item I'm going to show you is I believe these are all shiny brights. They were uh, $3.99 for the for the bucket. And I believe great a great number of these are definitely shiny brights. Um, just because of the um the frosting on a lot of these. So I don't think I'll do bad. I do really well with Christmas ornaments. Um they are, you know, a challenge to pack. Some of these in here I see they are cracked, but that's okay. But I figure for $3.99. Um, you know, I wasn't going to go wrong, but so I got that. That was one. And then I got another one. So a whole set of these babies. I don't know if you guys can see them up close, but I believe a great number of these are definitely shiny brights. And I do really well with shiny brights. I just do for the Christmas season. So do you see that? So I'll pull them out and I'll separate them and, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, obviously that the ones that are cracked or chipped or anything. So I'll make sure I'll do fine with those. All right, let's see. I got a couple of more items and then I'm done. The next item, I actually was going to give this for my niece, 
but I think I have given her so much stuff. Um, you know, when they were homeschooling, not homeschooling, but when during the pandemic, um, when she was not going to school, I had bought her a bunch of stuff. So I think I'm going to probably see if I can sell this. If not, then I probably will end up giving it to her. But it is a, is this Melissa and Doug? No. It is the United States of America and it has a listing of all the states. This is new in package, not open. I paid $2.99 for it, as you can see. But um, someone who's homeschooling their children, this might be a good little resource for them to use. I totally love this. And like I said, if it doesn't sell, I'll put it up uh, soon. But if it doesn't sell, then I'm more than likely will probably just give this to my um, to my niece for my great niece. So that's that. The next item is, how much did I pay for this? $2.99. I know you guys have probably seen this in a thrift store. But it's um it's the Explore a Trek. And it has this whole, um, what do you want to call it? What do, we, what do we call this? Illustration or a model of a dinosaur. All right? I think this is so very, very cool. I think I love anything that, you know, teaches kids to explore different things. This was $2.99. And I think they go for about $20, $21. But it's new in package. It hasn't been opened. I thought this was completely cool. I have a friend who her son was so, he loved di anything dinosaur related. He loved it. So, and I'm pretty sure that's not changing or that hasn't changed. But, oh my goodness, it shows all the innards. Okay. Well, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. And then I have two more items. The next item I'm going to show you is a Linux. It's Linux. Anything that's noted in the thrift stores, my goodness, anything that's Linux, they just automatically slap a high price on it. And sometimes I just kind of sort of go past that stuff because it's so overpriced. And Linux used to be, it used to be hot. We all know that Linux used to be highly um, collectible and Linux was a hot uh, uh, brand to pick up because it was quality. Let's just, let's just say, um, let's say that it was definitely uh, high quality items and a lot of people still love Linux. They collect it for the Christmas season and uh, they collect it. But I think the, uh, like with Ray Dunn, I think it has, uh, the popularity of it has kind of sort of diminished a little bit. So it, I pick and choose which Linux pieces that I, I have sold Linux in the past, but I pick and choose the pieces that I pick up. This is one piece that I chose to pick up. It is a Linux, it's called a Sorted Color Set of Four Cordials. I pay $8.99. Yes, I did pay up. However, let me just show you these things, guys. Let me just show you before I take them. I'm not even going to take them out. I'm going to leave them in. I'm not going to. I'm going to make sure I don't do anything to mess things up. Sorry about that. But as you can see, it's the set of four cordials. Let me just take one out. My favorite color. Let's take out this color. New in box, right? And so um, when I looked this up in the store, these were listed on Amazon for $60. These, these, these cordials were listed for $60. Here's the blue one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get $60 for them, but we shall see. I just think they're gorgeous, right? It's like an amber colored one. And then finally, the green one. Little small little Linux cordials. I thought they were cute. So if I sell them for about $25 or $30, I think I'll do fine. That's my $8.99 investment. And I think that is pretty much it. The last thing I gotta show you. Let me just show you the tag. I took it off. I paid $4.99. It was sitting on the shelf all by itself. I was literally about to leave the store because like I don't know about you guys, but when I go to my thrift stores, it's like a certain path that I go. Like I go to the front of the store and I go aisle by aisle. And then I'll always do a second sweep because you never know if people put stuff down or they put stuff in sections that it doesn't belong. But I always go back and at least do a second, um, a second sweep. And I'm so glad that I did a second sweep this go around. So I saw this, saw that it was on the shelf, and I'm like, okay, that's pretty. And it had a bunch of tape wrapped around it, right? I'm like, what the heck? So it was $4.99. So when I, let me just show it to you. Like stunningly beautiful, right? So then when I turned it over, I saw that it had this label. 
Do you guys see that? Tiffany and Company, made in Germany, and then etched on the bottom. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It definitely says it's etched, Tiffany and Company. Do you guys see that? Excellent condition, like excellent. No chips, no cracks, no nothing that I could tell. So what I ended up doing, I ended up doing a, just a little quick search for this. And actually I Google lensed it. And when I Google lens this particular piece, it came up in my Google lens and it a bunch of them came up, same exact style. And they were listed for about $250. Now, you know, sometimes when we get excited, we kind of sort of may misread something or maybe, you know, we want to make sure that we're looking at solds versus comps. So what I'm going to do when I am done tonight with my, um, with my haul and with my, I'm working on some videos to upload to YouTube, I'm going to take my time and I'm actually going to do some more research on this particular piece. But if I am correct, and that, that is authentic, and the etched Tiffany and Company, along with this label, is what I think it is, then I am hoping that for my $4.99 that I paid for this particular piece, that it's going to do relatively, relatively well. So anyway, guys, you know, you just never know. Sometimes the thrift stores are so hit or miss. You just never, ever, ever, ever know. And sometimes with your gut feelings, you just gotta, you, you just have to go for it. Even though we pay up on certain items, sometimes you just have to kind of go with your gut. And I've been doing this now for almost, it'll be four years in, in September um, that's what I do. I've absolutely learned my lesson and I don't, I don't pick up as much stuff as I used to. Like when I first started reselling, I used to pick up everything. Oh my God. My house was overloaded with so much stuff. My husband was like, please do not bring another thing in this house. Um, but I have learned to kind of sort of pick and choose. I know what sells, what I, I'm, I'm getting a feel for those things that sell. And like our, um, our reseller friend, Lavender Clothesline, you just kind of sort of know. You can get a feel for items, whether or not they're quality, and certainly the history of the, the items that you, that you know that sells. And when I watch a bunch of resellers and the things that they're selling, you just kind of go with your gut and pick it up, and it could be something. So I'm really excited about this piece right here. Like, extremely excited. I'm so glad that I picked this piece up. Like I really am so glad I picked it up because at first I just thought it was like your regular, you know, crystal, you know, whatever, because there's so much crystal and glass, crystal glass that are on the shelves, but I'm so glad I picked it up for $4.99. It's almost like what I did um, a couple of months ago. I picked up a, um, a Lalique Dove and it was $4.99, I think, and it was wrapped whatever. And I'm so glad that I looked at it carefully and I saw that it was etched Lalique and I'm so glad I picked it up. I paid $4.99. I think I ended up selling that baby for about 50 bucks, 49 or 50 bucks. I can't remember, but I, you know, it was Lalique. And if this is what I think it is, and it's truly Tiffany and company, which I'm really thinking that it is, and it's, it'll, it'll probably bring good money. So anyway, guys, that's my haul. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I totally love what I'm doing. I love that I have found a community of people who love seeing these hauls and, and, and these, and resellers who are looking, um, for items to look out for as well. So I hope that I have inspired you to look out for these things, look out for these items as well. And, um, just keep searching, keep, keep, uh, keep on the hunt because I absolutely love the hunt and love when I get giddy, when I am surprised by things that I don't think is anything, but it ends up being something. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I am so inspired by you guys who stop by and give me encouragement and, uh, and, and hang out with me for a couple of hours. So thank you so much. Wonderful. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Smooches.